My Elsa State Governor Doye Deri has appealed the judgment which nullified his election as Governor of the state. The Governor's lawyers filed the notice of appeal on Tuesday at the Court of Appeal in Abuja. He's challenging the majority judgment of the Bayelsa State Governorship Election Tribunal, which nullified his election on 12 grounds. The Advanced Nigeria Democratic Party, ANDP, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the People's Democratic Party, PDP, are listed as first, second, and third respondents in the appeal. Governor Deere disagreed with the entire majority decision of the tribunal, as delivered by Justice Yunus Musa and Justice Sikuru Odumi. And now to help us analyze this is Femi Lawson, a public affairs analyst. Thanks for joining us on the program, Mr. Lawson. It's my pleasure. Now, what's your opinion on the Bielsa State Election Petition Tribunal on the exclusion of the ANDP from the ballot? And that's vis-a-vis -vis the notification of Governor Dewey's election. Well, I think uh, my take on this is that, uh, of course, this is another opportunity for us as Nigerians to actually take a critical review at our electoral laws, you know, and the consequences of you know, the role of the court in our elections. That ruling, of course, is a decision of the court. The court has within its power, you know, taking that decision, as I mean the tribunal. But the truth is that the winner of an election should not be denied the mandate that has already been given by the people on the basis of what has been described as the inability of INEC to play its own role, you know, as appropriately expected. But even in this case, INEC cannot be blamed because I've listened to several defenses by INEC since this ruling, and it is very clear that the premise upon this, upon which this judgment has been delivered, was such, you know, that was purely a situation that has been instituted even before the election itself. INEC has come out to say this party, ANDP, fielded and under which candidate as the running mate of his candidate for that election, and that that party had already been disqualified, you know, from participating in that election in the first place. So going to the tribunal to get that judgment, to me, I see it as an attempt, you know, to deny the people by SS state, you know, the money that has been given to Governor Dre Diri. And I'm very sure that not only is the governor you know, right in appealing this. But I think the INEC has also signified its own intention, and I think this has to be pursued beyond the decision of the lower tribunal. Mm. Now, there's a minority uh, judgment which described the matter as a pre-election matter that uh, shouldn't have affected the outcome of the election. Considering the cost of the elections, how does INEC mitigate against the repeat of this scenario? Well, I think, uh, like I said, this is an opportunity for us not to think about what INEC could do. You know, most of the actions of INEC are guided by the dictate of our constitution and the Electoral Act. I think the INEC must approach the National Assembly in this regard. You know, our Electoral Act must be, it must be a subject of contest review, you know, amendment, until it is such that will meet the aspirations, the yearnings of the Nigerian electorate. Because this kind of scenario arising is not only arising, you know, and consequences are not only, you know, getting, uh, you know, candidates being denied of their money or, you know, witnessing the kind of scenario we are with. If we look at the cost of organizing elections in this country, we understand that it amounts to multiple expenses, you know, having another election for the same constituency where it would not have been declared, you know, over seven months ago. I think the INEC and the operators of our constitution must go back to the drawing board and look at the, every possible ways of doing the needed amendment to ensure that this kind of scenarios does not arise. Every, every issues that are pre-election must be resolved before elections and they must not have a role to play. And I think the, the, the amendment must include such that will prevent a situation whereby the inability of INEC or every other stakeholder within the chain, the electoral chain, will now necessitate the cancellation 
of an election, especially when such mandates are given by the people who are not in any way, who cannot be in any way be, you know, responsible for such errors or has now been committed by INEC or other stakeholders within the electoral chain. So I think beyond the, 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 the formality of the decision, we must always consider the cost of conducting election. We know what it is to con conduct a statewide election in Nigeria today. And I think uh, the people are not ready you know, for this, in my view. And I think, and I strongly believe that the higher court may have to look in this direction in, you know, in determining these appeals that have been instituted by Governor Dwayne Diri and the Hinek. Thank you, Mr. Lawson, for your thoughts uh, on the news.